Good morning guys, this is Ibongs and welcome to the first episode on Boom Beach we're gonna do on my channel. Uh, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick review of the base. A uh, lot of a lot of change uh, since the last video. It's been about three weeks. So we were headquarters six by then and uh, we're headquarters nine. So as you can see, we got a new machine gun, we got a new mortar, we got uh, the flamethrower, barbecue man. Uh, we got a new sniper tower and our residences are a bit more leveled up. We got a new landing craft, our gunboat is level 8. So a lot's been going on. I have 108 medals, uh, that means I'm sergeant already. I also joined the clan, uh, we, we've been doing uh, task force operations. We just completed our first one yesterday. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the task force operations is activities you, you guys can do with your clan mates. You guys just need to go ahead and join the task force. Uh, or you can create one with your friends then you can do these kind of operations and the objective here is that you need to destroy the power core and as soon as you do it the rest of the, the base just blows up as it does on the rest of the, um, the normal attacks you do uh, so you can sabotage as well by using pieces of intel uh, intel uh, being gathered in the normal farming uh, you do in the game uh, but I don't advise you guys to, to waste and throw away the intel, um, you know, early on because you're going to need to save up a lot for the most difficult bases um, ahead. So, as for farming, as you can see, I'm using uh, three ships with Zookas and, uh, one, and two ships with tanks. I, I don't use the, the other dudes, uh, what's the name again? Yeah, the riflemans. I, I don't use them as much. Because uh, I don't think they're worth it, you know, the tanks have a lot of HP so they can blow up the mines and take the early damage ahead while the Zookas uh, position themselves to just funnel on and destroy the base. That, that's, that's what I believe it's logic uh, in farming in Boom Beach and it's been working out for me so it might work for you guys as well, you should try it. Uh, as, as for statues... Uh, I got my darkness idol, it gives me an 8% uh, resource reward, this is very good for farming uh, early on in the game. Uh, I got my destruction idol, uh, it gives me troop damage uh, 3%, another darkness uh, idol for power stone chance uh, plus 11%, and uh, the destruction idol for troop damage plus 5% which gives me a total of 8% plus damage which is really good for my zookas. So guys, um, in this other part, we're going to do an attack on Dr. T's base. If you guys never seen it, uh, just destroyed the first one. And we're going to attack here. We need to be very aware of the flamethrower and the boom cannon. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack on the left side and I'm, I'm going to try to go. Um, I'm going to try to go for the flamethrower as fast as I can and I'm going to try to shock uh, both of the defenses. Uh, let's see if it's going to work. So I'm just going to drop my tanks here. And my Zookas are going to follow up. So I want to shock the boom cannon. And I want to heal my tanks and I want to shock it again. Now, as soon as the flamethrower is done, you need to straight away go for the um, you need to straight away go for the boom cannon, or else it's it, it's just gonna nu nuke your troops. You know, you, you're gonna run out of tanks real quick because it's really powerful and it, it can mostly one shot your tanks. So I get that boom cannon down. We're gonna go for the headquarters. It's gonna take a while because the um, the headquarters on Dr. T T's bases are really really hard uh, to take down, but eventually it, it will fall. And uh, bear in mind that attacking Dr. T's base, you win a lot of resources. So as uh, as soon as you can do it, as soon as you see it available, uh, you should definitely try and uh, go ahead farming because when you unlock stone and iron. It can be real. It can be a really great source uh, to get these resources. As you can see, I got 21,600 stone and, tw and uh, 10,800 uh, iron and a dark fragment as well. So it's a lot of resources, and there's seven stages to it. But uh, we're gonna do that in uh, you know in the next episode. Uh, we're gonna just go back to the base. As you can see, I didn't show you. 
here's my map. I'm still missing some regions to uncover, but we're gonna get that done further on ahead. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, at headquarters now, and you guys unlock the submarine. The submarine allows you to dive uh, for you know multiple resources. You can get stone, you can get uh, gems, you can get uh, fragments as well. So it's a really great source, you know, to collect the, to collect those extra resources you need. You know, maybe for a statue or maybe for uh, an upgrade you've been taking ages to do. You know, it can be a lifesaver sometimes. So I'd really advise you guys to build it as well. So I'm just going to replenish my troops. And we're going to go back here to my villa. So as you can see, my radar, I can still max it at level 9. I haven't done it because I, I just recently got my headquarters to, to level 9 as well. So we're going to do it. Uh, my sculpture, yeah, I can get it to level 3 as well. Uh, I, I really need to get this done because um, I really need the statues. You know, the extra stat uh, statues. We're going to do it. Uh, so guys, it, that, that's mostly it, you know, uh, you guys definitely should check out Moon Beach, it's, it's a really great game, I've been enjoying the hell out of it, uh, ever since we made the task force we've been having a lot of fun with the game, so you guys, so you guys should try it. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode on Boom Beach, we're gonna try and keep upgrading our defenses and uh, getting some progress done in the game, so I hope to see you guys soon, stay tuned and stay cool guys.